All right, guys, we are back. We are here with round three of the uh, Midgard Games LVO qualifier here in Derry, New Hampshire. Uh, everyone has just had lunch. We are back. Uh, we have uh, actually a familiar face here on stream from ACL uh, going up against one of the locals here. We have Mr. Nick Menard going up against Jonathan Green. And uh, that should be a good one. I think we might have some uh, some cool matchups that we've been waiting to see. But if you missed that last round, we saw another one of the Montreal uh, group here, um, Gabe, go up against uh, Robert Real, who we met both of them at ACO as well. Super cool to see. Um, and now Nick. I got to play a game against Nick at ACO um, during that open open game day. Yeah, with that um, room of Al's. Yes. When it was brand new. Which was which was super fun. Uh, he, and then I believe Nick went on to um, to, uh, to get his uh, LVO qualifier ticket. Yeah, it was uh, day two he won the tournament. Yeah, facing off against uh, Simon Jerry. Uh, his, uh, I said it right this time, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting better all the time, man. Hey. Um, so, Dan, what... Uh, do you happen to know what Nick might be bringing? I do. I have his list right here, his roster. Uh, first up, he has Malekith with all caps, four exclamation points. Apparently, he's very excited about it. He also has Shadowlands, Daredevil, Steve Rogers. He's taking all the leaders, apparently. Yeah. Rogue, Ancient One, Strange... Sh 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 Strange Supreme. Why is that so hard? Baron uh, Mordo. Because it comes with uh, sour cream and tomato, that oh, Doctor Strange. Yeah. So. Uh, Baron Mordo, Wong, Doctor Voodoo, and Magic. So, looks like he's going more. He's got four different leaders. Looks like he's planning on probably going Convocation. I don't know if he can build any other. Maybe. I don't think he can do event. Oh, maybe Avengers with Rogue. Yeah. Uh, but then he also has. Uh, the Bar with No Door, Eyes on the Prize, Word of Wand of Watum, Midnight Phantasmagoria, all caps again, uh, Bane of uh, Dambala, Smash, Journey Through Limbo, Brace for Impact, Orb, Orb of Agamotto, and the Ironbound Books of Shuma Gorath. Nice. For a Secure Crisis, he's got Riot, Spark, uh, Portals Over Run City, Cosmic Invasion, and his extractions are Montesi Formula, Fear Grips, uh, Hammers, and Spider Infected. All right, over on the other side of the stage, we will have Jonathan Green. He is running potentially some Winter Guard or Brotherhood. Ooh, Winter Guard. Uh, roster includes Red Guardian, Dark Star, Urza Major, Crimson Dynamo, Hood, Juggernaut, Toad, Rogue, Mystique, and Scarlet Witch. Always love to see Scarlet Witch running. Gamma Cosmic and Demons Downtown for Secures, Research Station, Montesi, and Spider Infected. Oh, okay. I choose this 16. Okay, that's the better one. Out of the two 16s that were up, we did get a confirmation of which one it will be. What are the two crisis I? Uh, there is research station attacks and uh, cosmic invasion black order. Okay. Words. So research station and cosmic okay, vault. The vault that pushes you and you get two power. Nice. Nice. And so 16. So we're good. We're just moving down today. Yeah. We had 20, then 17, now 16. So I mean, games four and five have to be 15 and 14, right? Right. Yeah. As things go, uh, Keebler will be happy to have those 14. Keebler will show just for the last game because yeah. his 14 cents will go off. Yeah, probably will. So playing 14. <clears throat> All right, so we're looking at so getting their squads together now. So when when offered the, the table flip, did look like choosing not to flip. I don't know. I've only seen that actually happen maybe once or twice, and uh, I think it's mostly because I don't want to move all my stuff. You know? Uh, absolutely. The only time I've seen it that I can remember was back at ACO. Simon did it. He was like, "No, I want that side." Yep. I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." Well, you can do that. Well, he's playing <laughs> X-Men Gold, right? So there, there can be some interaction there, especially where terrain might be, especially near the deployment zone, where if you're planning on running someone up the middle and storm hopping them on one side to be able to go to one flank or the other, it actually could be pretty impactful. Yeah. The situations where it will be impactful sometimes, I think, are, are in fact few and far between. But somebody, like, if someone's going to catch that assignment, though. Yeah. Yeah. I don't disagree there. Thank you. Uh, you know Alright, they've already got the objectives out there. They're going quick. These guys are uh, like practiced pros. 
uh, John just uh, got a trophy for winning their local league. Yeah. He got a cool uh, Hulkbuster Disney Infinity model uh, sprayed gold for first place. But Jonathan had painted it, or not Jonathan, uh, Brian. Brian had painted it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> hey, boy, Jimmy Dad, welcome back. Or well, welcome us back, either or. Putting together their squads. Yeah, so we're still oh, finishing. Oh, they, oh, they were like roughly placed. Okay. Yeah. It's called Aquatine Hunger Force. That's what something about Hunger Force makes me happy. Carl's car wasn't killed, it was murdered. Murdered. <laughs> <laughs> But we yeah. need a rumble. Got heavily distracted by Aqua Teen Hunger Force being mentioned, and it just it brought me down nostalgia land for a second. Yep. No idea what's going on. Ben, we might see some hashtag Team Slav. We can cross our fingers for at least a few of them, yep. if not, you know, the whole affiliation of four. <laughs> yeah. We did get some big news between. We did between games during the lunch break. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw somebody posted in the Facebook group that the Asmodee shop has been updated with the Sentinel packs with a release date of August 4th, no, October 14th. October 14th. Uh, so we right found the out there are two packs for it. One is the Prime Sentinel. Uh, they can't hear you, so now you're good. Full send it. And then one is it depends on how the, loud you are, I guess, uh, but. The, uh, pack of two Mark IV Sentinels. What's that? I was continuing what we're with the oh, yeah. Sentinel. So yeah, there's two. There's gonna be two Sentinel boxes. One for the Prime, the leader. He comes on the affiliation card. Mm -hmm. uh, neither box was listed with a Crisis card, sadly. Right. Uh, but yeah, there are two that you, to get the whole affiliation. You get those two boxes, and then you know Cassandra Nova if you want. Yeah. But that's like what one fifteen. But if you end up pre-ordering them from Bearded Dragon Games out online, you'll get fifteen percent off that pre-order. That's, that's more than fifteen dollars. It's more than fifteen dollars. I got my stuff. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, so now we know September releases and October, unless they add another box in October, which I'm fine with them keeping it with just those two. Yeah. <laughs> the Sentinels look awesome. Yes, yeah, so and then we, really we you know, the, with that release on the store, we see them in their painted glory. They look great. Yeah. Yep. Like, real good. So that's exciting. Super exciting. Wow. But yeah, so we do know, so, and this will be kind of uh, the first time on the stream, at least certain, uh, for the first time of the day, this will be our first Malekith with four exclamation points, potentially, if he was taken. Mm. We've only had uh, non-exclamation pointed Malekith so far. They do play very differently. Right, let's be right, right. Thank you. John's handing over cards. What a gentleman. What's that? <laughs> oh, that's true. Also the only Malekith with all caps. If you want to go over those, I think we got okay. Some excitement here. This is super exciting slash uh, just the tiniest bit disappointing. Uh, we do have Winter Guard. We got Crimson Dynamo, Red Guardian, Dark Star, Rogue, and Toad. I say it's only a little disappointing because there's no Ursa Major who's my favorite of that, but super excited to see. <laughs> it's all about you, Dan. Yep. Uh, super excited to see Winter Guard on the table. Uh, he's taking Patch Up, Indomitable, Dark Aura Manifestation, Comrades Keeper, and Winter Rush. Probably my favorite tech this card from that release. So did you say Rogue and Toad? Rogue and Toad. Rogue and Toad, and then the Toad and Rogue. All right, cool. The other three. I like it. I like it a lot. i um, excited to see some more uh, Crimson Dynamo out there. I played with them a couple weeks ago on all the other power phase. Thank you. And I feel like they have a lot of potential. I just got to figure them out better. Yeah. Dark Star is an interesting piece. But we got we got some teleport shenanigans. Um, I really like Crimson Dynamo. I think he's got a lot going on. Cool. Thank you, sir. We got Nick's right. team here. Oh, now Tim's gonna be happy. Go for it. Oh, okay. Let's go to update the thing. Tim's gonna do too many things with his hands right now. I just I got to, I don't have enough hands. <laughs> so we got convocation. Oop. Oh, we do. We got uh, Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Voodoo. Magic and so rogue. <laughs> so we're gonna have a rogue off. So supreme. I'm sure Tim is really excited to see Magic, one of his favorite oh, characters yeah. in this game. Uh, so Nick is taking the Bar with No Doors, of course, the Wand of Watum, Journey Through Limbo, uh, Brace for Impact. I'm dropping everything. Uh, Ironbound Books of Shumagorath and Bane of Dembala, because Bar with No Doors doesn't count against your. 
Cards taken, right? Correcto. Very cool. Thank you, sir. All right, that has all that stuff updated, I believe, so we should be good to go. So we got wizards versus uh, Russian punches. Wizards. And rogue. Interesting, we haven't, we haven't seen rogue yet today, and then boom, twice. Not sure why the sounds aren't playing through our, our brain holes, but... Let's go! Let's go! Okay. Let's just turn them all up and see what happens. <laughs> I mean, there's only so many things that yeah, should be through that one that's turned up, but I don't know. Curious if, if we do this, maybe? The thing is that it's difficult to check, so let's see if... We should hear a blim there. Not hearing it there. So speakers, maybe let's go... Thunderbolt! Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. Do what you want to do. On the double. Oh, I heard it that time. That came out of the computer, I think. Oh, <laughs> oh there That's we go. That's definitely in the headphones. All right, now we're good, guys. I'm pretty certain. That shit. Well, did it play it through? Did it spike the. Oh, the yeah, it hit the thing. It did. Okay, so we don't need those turned up anymore. All right, we got it. Now, now, now we're all back for the one thing that everyone cares about, and that is blowing out our ear holes. Yes, yeah, so next time somebody plays a Lionel Sauter, I'm trying to. Look, I'm real quiet after I did that. Ooh, that was weird. All right, that Iron Bound book of Shumago Wrath. So is there. I'll just let you know ahead of time. I have um man, what is going on here? Because huh? they just energy or physical. Huh. Uh, I Sorry, we're even get I guess that didn't work. So that's why it's oh, huh? I mean it works for me too, but you start I think I know what happened. Did you guys have sounds on stream last week? This past Monday? Did they play? Uh yeah, for sure. They did. I remember dancing to like Jim. I mean you're broke. Okay. Uh, magic is on and it's so weird. It should be working. The sound alert is here. What a scam. Yeah, man, for real. <laughs> I'll get that figured out, though. All right, we're getting things figured out. <laughs> Nick's losing his cards right in the middle of the table. You know how it goes. <laughs> So, Dan, uh, what are you excited to see with Winter Guard? Uh, Winter Rush. I want to see that move a bunch of people around. Mm. I'm sad to not see any bare arm brawler, but I'd like to see some sweet beams from uh, Crimson Dynamo. Sweet beams are made of these. They really are. And uh, some fun teleporting shenanigans from Darkstar. Yeah. But he did take the door aura of Dark Manifestation. I'd like to see that, like, work. And not only hurt Dark Star's team. <laughs> that would be nice. Interesting that uh, John's got a, a little, I don't know if it's, I would call it an advantage going into it, but all the Winter Guard characters have four Mystic Defense going against Convocation. Nick is mixing it up a bit with Rogue in there because she can do physical and energy, and so can Toad. So, we won't have to go up against the four defense every time, but I do like how they have that mental defenses across the board. Oh, is there a browser source offline? That's so odd. Oh, maybe it's blocked. Oh, you think you found some weird things being blocked? Yeah, that could be. I hope that's not the case, but... But what else? So how has your experience been playing Winter Guard so far, Dan? Well, I had the one game, and I, I shot myself in the foot a couple times. Yeah. Mostly with Dark Stars, Dark Manifestation, Dark whatever. Her Cactus card did not work in my favor at all. It only hurt me. I think you had priority that round, and it was like, all right, Ursa Major's got one wound left on one side of the table. If I play this card over here, maybe he won't go after my characters right away, and I had... Dark Star, Crimson Dynamo, Omega Red, all right there that could do energy attacks. Mm. And then you just like took them out before they got to do anything. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. But there's a lot of potential there. I think we reset the. I think I got it. Well, we're getting some deployment here. The Crimson Dynamo is down. Bruh. Bruh. All right, guys, we're good. We got it fixed. We just had to reset the cache. It's not something I normally would have tried, but glad it worked. Uh. 
Okay, so we do have a couple characters down. Crimson Dynamo on the right. Looks like Rogue on the left, just above the Fisk trailer. Red Guardian backing up his big bro there. Yeah. Bro. Right. <laughs> so Nikolai is there. I think he goes by Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Chat said he's pretty sure he just goes by Nick. <laughs> uh, Dr. Voodoo down. All right. Who do that voodoo? Nick do. Do what? Rogue down next. Rogue, Rogue, Rogue. Rogue uh, we're just working in so many affiliations. Great character. Saw her at NashCon in uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy and Black mm. Order and like just a lot of stuff. The Black Order one surprised me, but now seeing her again here in um, uh, Winter Garden and Complication. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> I like her in Convocation a lot because Convocation has so many mystic attacks. Mm -hmm. Having a character that can do double duty with physical and energy to round out, you yep. know, so you have a little bit of everything, I think is important. Well, and we talk about it a lot, but um, just having that, uh, the amount of action she can perform in her turn, right? So oh there's my gosh, a charge, yeah. and then potentially two attacks, and then mutant absorption, and a throw. She's like, got a it's, lot It's going a lot on. there. She's got a lot going on. She's like, she keeps going, like, wait a minute, you only get two actions. And yeah, she only did two actions, <laughs> but she did eight things. So it looks like we got Strange Supreme and Nyx Rogue behind the fist building there, as well as Magic. Dark Star going on top of the bugle on the right side here for Jonathan. And it does look like we are going to be going into our first activation for Jonathan. I already forgot who Looking we like have. Who is that? That's, oh, that's Toad. That's right. It's actually, it's pretty cool. Um, Toad. That Toad, because uh, he's painted like red and purple. It looks actually very Winter Guardy. He does. Right and the red bricks, too. Yeah. All right, just to remind ourselves, we have uh, port cosmic vaults for secures. Mm -hmm. This is one in the, I want to say the power phase, but probably the, the cleanup phase. Oh, it's right there. During the power phase. Oh, it's right. Uh, cosmic vaults ready energy. You roll a die uh, for character that's controlling it. And if it's a crit or a wild, they gain two power, but then are pushed away short and pushed by the opposing player. Also, just worth one victory point. And then our uh, research station is our escort. Yeah. It's an extract, which is super odd, because it is one that you have to secure. Yeah, it's but, an extract that secures. But yeah, so I really like researcher quite a bit. So mm -hmm. it's worth two victory points if you are controlling it during the cleanup phase. But if it also happens to be within range what, one of the base, you get an additional two. So you can have someone control it score two, but it could be on potentially the other player's base, scoring them two as well. Mm -hmm. And we actually end up usually seeing that pretty often. Uh, I, I like these, because, or I like uh, Researcher because it makes for a brawl in the middle. Granted, with intrusion portals on the outside, you never really know where people are going to focus. Yeah, this would be interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this particular matchup of crises. Yeah. I see we saw Crimson Dynamo move up to the middle to take the Researcher. Dr. Strange Supreme is moving up. Looks like just enough to stay on the portal. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. He's hiding behind that skid steer. All right, that works. <laughs> so we got Wanda with two. What does that one do? I cannot remember. I've never used it. I don't think I've ever played Convocation yet. I need to do that. I really like Convocation a lot. I'm also a big wizard people. Okay, so you can spend two power during an activation to play this card by a Convocation character. You choose one from one of three effects. You can use an element of blast attack that's on the card. You can reroll two dice in your defense rolls this round. Or this character may use a superpower that is normally limited to once per turn a second time this activation, paying a little bit cost as normal. That's awesome. Yeah, in the future, that's fine, yeah. Element of Blast is pretty sweet. Range 5, Strength 7, yep. and Wild, it gets... Uh, Incinerate, Shock, and Slow. Wow, all three of them. Yeah. You For do two last power, that's more. real good. 
Yes, and you get all right. So, so we went with the blast. Yep. So we went with the blast. Crimson Dynamo blocks two, or blocked a couple. He's going to be taking two and gain incinerate shock as well. I mean, Winter Guard get rid of. They can get rid of one at the start of his activation, but he's already activated this round, and he can only get rid of one at a time. Correct. So that slow is obviously going to be coming off pretty pretty quick. That's the one to take off of uh, Crimson Dynamo. Would you say slow? Yeah, of course he did. <laughs> That was a pretty good opening salvo. September 12th, Monday on Twitch. You're calling me out? It's a week after Dr. D? Maybe. We'll talk about it. <laughs> it's a big, it's, it's, it's a probably. All right, so we're going back over to the Winter Guard. Winter Guard, Winter Guard, Winter Guard. Winter guard. Schemes and plots. John's measuring from Crimson Dynamo for some reason. He's already gone, sir. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, like, Red Guardian's moving up. Group. Yep, so Red Guardian moving up, taking that back intrusion portal. So, I believe what he was measuring for was to see exactly how far he was away, to see if he could be in range four for a shield throw. So he can clang, a rang. Clang, a rang. Rogue just flat out flies, double moves up to the middle to contest that wow. uh, researcher. Hello there. Just trying to do, you know, tango with, uh, what's his name? Crimson Dynamo. Yes. The most crimson of dynamos. The Red Winter guy. <laughs> <laughs> You know why they're all when so many of them are red? Why is that? Because it represents the blood on the snow. Oh, they got really they got the old snow blood. I get you. All right, Dark Star Double moving up. Take well, the point. Where did she come? Oh, she was on the building. That's right. <laughs> They're just having a party in the middle. Yeah, for real. Uh, and John's got a bit of an advantage there with one more character to be able to dedicate more to that middle point. Yep. So it looks like that's going to be his because we got, is it Baron Mordo on the bottom? Uh, Dr. No. Voodoo. And Rogue? Oh, Dr. Voodoo, that's right. Voodoo? He wouldn't be able to get up to that middle point anyway, so he's grabbing the southern vault. Mm -hmm. Double move, and then we got Rogue on this side, probably going to double thing. move. Nah, I think we're going to have pretty low scoring this round. Yep. Looks like it's going to be 4 to 2, John. Because the research is worth 2, right? So Nick's got. Nick has two. No, Nick has one portal. So it's. Uh, what's the score? Uh, one for me, three for him. One okay. to three. Yeah. One to three. Uh, Take your hand and come with me. No. Good. It looks so fine. That yes, I make. was thinking the vault was worth two for a second there. Yeah, so John's got two points for securing the researcher in the middle, and then one for Red Guardian on the vault. And Nick's getting one for Doctor Strange and his vault. The other vaults are contested. Yep. Uh, it is convocation against Winter Guard. Gary, buddy, you should probably like take a nap after this game. Yeah, he look, yeah, he's very sleepy. Looks tired. Sleepy Gary. Uh, and that will give Nick priority. Yep. I think John started with it. Mm -hmm. Crimson Dynamo, or somebody went first. We're rolling for pushes here. Crit or wild, they're looking for. Magic, also nothing. That's it for him. So we're going to move over to John. Rogue rolling first as a skull, so nothing. Crimson Dynamo or uh, Red Guardian. So, so. <laughs> That's my job to mix up the names. Right. Stepping on my toes. Consider your toes step down. That's not a toe. This is a toe. That's not a toe, it's a bathtub. There ain't no toes in a bathtub. <laughs> what are you doing, lady? <laughs> All right, Rogue's gonna try to suck Crimson Dynamo dry. So pretty typical round one, we got one attack. Interesting that he used a Tactics card so early. That's not when he gets back, like Ironbound books. Right. That's right. Getting all those status effects on Crimson Dynamo is nice, though. 
because now he's incinerated against this rogue. Correct. He right. got, this is in the Crimson Dynamo? This is in a Crimson Dynamo. Uh, so the Mutant Absorption got two power off, no power burn from it though. Oof, stepping another power. Well, you don't do yeah. Oh yeah, right. So right now you have four I'll spend my two on Crimson Dynamo. Okay. Oh, Crimson Dynamo is forcing Rogue to re-roll. Yep. You do that before the sap happens. Okay, so the sap still happens. But now that he spent the power to force him to re-roll, there's no power to sap. Uh -huh. I'll spend my power before you could take it. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. So even after all that, Crimson Dynamo only taking one there. Actually, not, not too bad. Nice. Not too shabby. Good for Crimson Dynamo. I will do that again. Oh, we're going to do uh, the second verse, same as the first. But this time, with feeling, all the damage is going through. He rolled three damage. So that will be two more on Crimson. He's got one left then, doesn't he? Yeah. He's hurt, and I'm going to assume he's going to activate him first. This yeah, time. it would be a great time. To oh, she's throwing a dumpster into him. That's oh, there you not go. good. She does have four physical defense, though. He is dazed. All right, comes the dynamo. is dazed. Not, not great for John, but at least he still gets it to benefit from the leadership. Yeah. Yes. Alright, so Rogue's kind of out of the center, so we can kind of go to one of the flanks here. Thanks, okay. Sticks. Toad going up against Magic. Oh man, that's Come a great match. That's bad. I'd watch oh, it. Yeah, this is a crisis that doesn't require power. Correct. No buttons to push. I like that. Just bleh, spitting on her. Right, so, gonna, so no damage, but magic will be incinerated from that. Following up with a tongue lash, probably. You. Now that she's incinerated, give her the old blip. A blippity bloop. All right. So Toad is going to pung or yeah, pung touch uh, magic for two, <laughs> and he gets the push. Yeah, magic Nick. I, we were looking at the card a second ago. It does say when he's targeted, you have to spend the power. So you have to kind of just plan ahead with that one. Gotcha. So was it used wrong there? Uh, John used it after, like during the modified dice step. Okay. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll nip that. I need to remind him of next time. We will, but Dynamo will be doing that for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it had a, a major impact there, thankfully. Uh, the only difference would be, I think, maybe Rogue might have one more power from the sap, because there'd be, there'd be power there to sap. But he did get dazed. It does seem like odd timing to force a reroll before any dice are rolled. Yeah. But I get that it's like insurance before the attack is even performed. But that's actually really good. So thank you, Magic, for pointing that out so we can, we can grab that going forward. I think this is Magic now. She moved back up and hit and Toad. Yep, the Soul Sword into Toad. I don't think Toad has good Mystic Defense. <laughs> I think it's the same as everything else, but. Uh, with the peers. He blocks you know what two, happens when you hit with the magic sword? The same thing as everything else. <laughs> so we got a couple damage on Toad from that uh, soul sword. Who knew that Toad had a soul with the sword? I mean, he's just a people too. He's just a friendly neighborhood janitor sometimes. Sometimes. Alright, so we got a dark child here. Uh oh. Do she teleport back? Is that how? Yeah. But she definitely moved. Yep, she teleported back. That makes sense. Save that action. To do this. Blocking two. All right. Dark Child is doing two to Toad. Guess what? He's Toad's still up. Still up. Yeah. Because Toad is like five and he's three, five, right? Four, I think. Five. Pretty sure he's three on his inching side. Once you flip him, though. he goes down super easy. Good job, Toad. Yeah, you're right. Five, <laughs> five three. three. <laughs> Toad the tank. Interesting yeah, for half the time. Yeah. Half the time he's the tank every time. Not everybody can be Honey Badger. That's true. She's the tankiest, too, I think. I'm pretty sure she's five and five. All right. She's like, what? So we have the rogue going into Dr. Booty here. 
He's choosing energy as the attack, it doesn't matter, but I do like this, uh, doing the attack first to be able to mutant absorption, the power off later, to prevent yeah. the possession and throws and all sorts of stuff, especially staff of like this. Yeah, because she's sitting on, she should be on two power right now, on two power phases. <laughs> What do you say? Uh, no, no damage went through, and uh, the contestants were talking about how they, they there should be damage because they're, they're putting on the show. They're on the stream table, <laughs> so it looks like better. it's happening again. Four and a sap Ooh, going into Dr. Voodoo. So I think three. All right, Voodoo's taking three. And I rolled taking a power off. It's gonna be four power for Rogue there. Mm -hmm. Sap and three damage. And then I think we're gonna have a mutant absorption probably right here. Or maybe oh, I throw, throw that dumpster first. in too. Yeah. I would do both. Oh, there's a barricade. Oh, that's only size one. Yeah. I'd throw that dumpster into him. You seen the dumpsters there? He's measuring. I think it is. I don't know. It's real close. It looks pretty good. It is oh, out. Just shy. Really? Just fingertip in that dumpster lid. Just caress his face gently and take his energy that way. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little. That's all she needs. Right? <laughs> Five dice, looking for hits, crits, and Yep, we're going for, what is it, mutant absorption? Just one. Mm -hmm. One, so he just loses one power, not enough to do any damage to him, but uh, taking any power off of Voodoo is a big deal. Not just any any power, but the one he got from the skull, so that's a Brother Daniel power, is where it was really taken oh, from. Oh, that's just a slap on Brother Daniel's face. It really is. Oh, brother. Daniel. Slam. <laughs> All right, Voodoo gonna swing back. Interesting, he's saving Dr. Strange for last. All right, we're going with Spirit Venom into, uh, into Rogue. This also has Snap as well. It's kind of a Snap fight. Stealing power back and forth. <laughs> I can't quite tell when John's like, oh, what a roll, wow. if that's a good thing or not. Three saps. Yikes. I think she just used some of that power. So he rolled, um, rolled six successes overall. Uh, a couple are being blocked, four are going through with three saps. Jeez. That is a heck of a roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's. Did you say she's dazed? Uh, no. Okay, I didn't she has four damage. I'll try to block it. All right, Voodoo uses his Mystic Throw. Now she's dazed. Yeah. Looks like it was a bad defense roll. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Rogue does not normally go down that easy. She must really like him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. see a lot of dumpsters thrown around. Oh, is the trash man out there? Because everybody's throwing garbage. <laughs> All right, back over to John. And he's going to start blasting with that shield, probably. So, yeah, we got Red Guardian, I think is it, left, right? Do you, Red Guardian and Dark Star. Oh, and Dark Star. Do you just team up on Rogue and try to daze his Rogue back? Yeah. Ignore Doctor Strange for now? Mm -hmm. Doctor Strange can do so much damage, but... All okay. right, we got Dark Star's Dark Bolt, or whatever it's called. Her Dark Gainer. <laughs> You reroll whatever he wants into her. No, hers, you have to reroll all of them. It's not any. Oh, she can reroll all the dice. I don't know which one he did. We'll, we'll grab that if he does that again. Dark Force Strength. Okay. Yeah, good call. It's not because it's slightly different from like um, Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. She can reroll uh, any gets, dice. It gets compared to that so heavily that yep. that's always what I think it is, too. Yep. <laughs> And then Rogue is using the Convocation Bump to move back a little bit. Oh, oh that again! Back. Convocation Bump's real good. I like that a lot. Uh, remember, it's it's all the dice. It's not individual dice. Oh, it's all the dice. So that means you didn't get it. So you get one, and then we call you. We help you. So we still do it. Oh, okay. Is it reborn three fails? Oh, okay. two successes. 
Oh, we still need one point of damage. Sorry, I, I thought I could zero. And you have oh, yeah. all hours. Everyone thinks this is the Captain Marvel one. I do the same thing, and it just it's oh, it's just, different. Just went down a couple of times. Right. <laughs> so, I definitely did it wrong the first time I did it. Somebody in chat was like, "That's not how that works," and I was like, "Oh, yeah. you're right. <laughs> Good call." <laughs> See, I learned from my mistakes too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dark Star is pretty okay. More like Dark Star. <laughs> Dark Star. <laughs> She's done. I don't know if she did much with that second attack or anything. I, and, and for real, like especially Magic and Wargaming Dad, we get corrected a lot on, on this stream and it's only made us better and we really appreciate it because it affects the game sometimes. Yeah, it's, and no, we want to do it as correctly yeah. as we can. In a tournament setting, it's, you know, people mess things, people read things wrong, whatever, it's not a, yeah. the end of the world, but like, you know, letting them know the second time, like, it is how that works, I yep. think is sporting. Yeah. And they did have a, a brief conversation about how it would affect the first roll. Because he rolled three failures, so he wouldn't have been able to re-roll all of those. Mm -hmm. I, it balanced it out. It wasn't great, but it's balanced-ish. Dr. Strange moving up, abandoning that back vault. Yeah. Well, with Crimson Dynamo days now... He's got, uh, Nick has the sen uh, researcher at the moment. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't corrected us, you've educated us yeah. in how to play the game a little bit more correctly. All right, so what is it that Doctor more. Strange just did to move Dark Star 3? Scalpel. He can teleport others? Yeah. Does it, is it any character or just any, any character. characters? That's crazy It's awesome. Good. Yeah, it's really good. It's I one know. of the big differences between him. The scalpel of Strange. Cost four. It is expensive. But and you got to really move someone good. close, but yeah, you can just yeet somebody away. I definitely remember you using that against me, and I was like, what is this crap? <laughs> what is this nonsense? Uh, I was just going to say that if Good against John, Malekit, too. Oh, for real. Uh, I was going to say if John moved up... Red Guardian, they would uh, be a wash on that middle point again. Totally forgot about Scalpel. Yep. So that's Nick's. So Red Guardian, Guardian. I think I think you go. Oh, he's gonna move up first. So he might be shield slamming someone off the point. Oh, that would be dope. Oh, yeah, it's got to be Rogue because. Uh, oh, he's just doing a strike. Okay. Maybe he doesn't have the power for shield slam because I think that's three. It is. You'd have two at this point. Oh, everything's going through outside of uh, the Kree physiology. I think it was just one damage through. Oh. And it is a gainer, so... But he gets to push. Oh, his strike has a push. I yeah, forgot I, about I did that. forget about He's that. He's got too. a lot... Of, it's what Winter Guard does, right? Is the control and anti-control game. Yeah. Uh, size 3 or less. Yeah, it's an auto push. Mm -hmm. So, the, yeah, he still made it so nobody gets the, the researcher this round. Yeah. Are we, do we have any points scored this round? Oh, uh, Dr. Voodoo does, because that rogue is dazed. Oh, yeah. So I think it'll be two to three after this? That's wild. I think so. Oh, wow. All right. Surprisingly low scoring. Is there only one victory point being scored that round total? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I like it. Interesting. So I could have either scored one and got three. Or prevented the researcher from... Yeah. Seems like the right call to me. John yeah. said he could have either he could have scored one that round, keeping Red Guardian back, mm -hmm. but then Nick would have scored three. So I think John definitely made the right call. Well, it would have been tied four to four. <laughs> but up by one is better than tied. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So we have a rogue flipping, and Toad is somehow still hanging on. Right. Rogue and Dynamo, right? Yeah, yeah. Because Dynamo didn't get an activation that turn. Correct. So He's not in a good spot for beams. He's got to have a lot of power now. I can see Dynamo uh, thrustering south of Doctor Strange and beaming Strange and Rogue, potentially. So we'll probably go after Magic, though. Yeah. Or Doctor Voodoo. So we're rolling for traps here. Or, uh, vaults. Or, or, yeah, vaults. Everything's traps. If it moves or shoots, it's a trap to me. <laughs> Roll you for know. that trap, that'll push you short. They might move that researcher trap somewhere in the middle, too, towards <laughs> one of the trap bases. Oh, did Nick play a trap card? Oh, for gosh. Welcome to the trap house, boys. So we are already in the round three, aren't we? Yeah. This is fine. That's what I'm saying. These guys are playing quick. 
Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. 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 Neither of them silver either. Shells. And let's see. Nick has priority this round. I think he's going to keep it most of the game because he's down one character. Yeah. Which could be banned for John because we could go. He could start going for blood here. What should we pay for there? Ironbound books. Okay. Oh. So Ironbound books is in play. Yeah, seems like a pretty good time for it. All right. Oh, winter rush. We're gonna winter get a winter rush. rush here. So he's explaining uh, winter rush right now. So whenever a winter guard character gets damaged, well, an another. Ally oh, just oh, an ally. When an ally character is damaged, a winter guard character, character can move short towards, towards the them. attacker. I like it. Oh, we are going with Doctor Voodoo first. Oh, he's, Staff of Legba. Oh, he's going for rogue. All right, we're going for that power burn. I assume it's in the rogue. Yeah. So there's one power burn on the staff, so it's going to do a damage and have her livers of power. After that, three damage is going to happen. But pre physiology is going to block one. She'll take two for a total of three with the power burn. Oh, Winter Rush, he's moving short. Winter Guard. I was just about to say, how's he moving short? He just explained that, dummy. Yep. Yeah. And he, he goes, Winter Rush! And then moves short. Yeah. <laughs> so much <winter. laughs> Comrades Keeper. Yep. He's going over Comrades Keeper. I was about to ask if he had it, but I didn't want to initiate the knowledge of that to his opponent. Right. So this is a, a bodyguard or a lethal protector uh, or a heroes for hire where uh, Red Guardian can place himself within two and take the hit. If he's undazed, he'll be able to throw the attacking character away short. Interesting that he's leaving the middle objective with Red Guardian, but I mean, you gotta keep Rogue alive. Yep. She's probably the best. He's arguably the best piece on his side. Oh, fair. So let's read Winter Rush quick. Hmm? So we're gonna have yeah, Winter Rush is, I think, a uh, character can only be more No, no, no restrictions. No. The wow. only restriction is that only a Winter Guard character can move yeah. and pay for it. Okay. Another staff of Legba. I like this one. I like this one. We're going to see if the Comrade Keeper is here. Okay. Yeah, I, yep. So he's going to... He's doing it. Place with a two that's going to put him on the intrusion portal. And he will take the hit. And then it goes on the Red Guardian instead, who I think is on full. It I think is. he's 6'5". Red for Guardian? Stat, for stamina. He might be 5'5", five five, because he's only a... He's 5'6". Five six. Five six. Okay, so he's going to get 5 on this side. Similar to Cap. A couple crits so far. He gets one hit. Happy about that roll. And he gets it. Red Guardian is dazed. He's dazed instead, but that keeps Rogue around. Who Remember, you'll gain another power from his passive, too. What? what? If he's gain... not dazed. Oh, if he's not dazed. Yeah, I'm dazed, so I can't throw. Oh, no, I was thinking about the Red Guardian suit. And that is also if he's not dazed. That's so wild. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's either. Huh. I'll just, you know, sacrifice a guy, why not? It's fine. Somebody gets Voodoo short, though, towards Voodoo if I want. We get Voodoo. We're going to rush here, either Dark Star or. You could just kind of give up on that middle point this round, right? And just try to take down Voodoo. Voodoo being gone is a huge deal. Granted, he hasn't been dazed yet, but... I was going to say, he's already gone this round and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he decided not to win a rush off that attack. He likes where Dynamo and Darkstar are already. Oh, yeah, going with Toad. Let's daze magic. I think she's only got, got one or two left here. magic in me. Or maybe it's a toad as he is tongue punching. Already burning. Oh, yeah, she's still incinerated. All right. She's dazed. Dazed with an acid spit. MVP toad. Yeah. 
I mean, that's why he's like one of the most taken characters in mm-hmm. leagues and tournaments. Yep. Toad's a good boy. He's so good. No, he does what a two threat should. He just kind of gets in the way. Sometimes he does a little bit of damage. So I, think I can't believe he went toe to toe with magic and came out on top there. Yeah, for real. I think he's considering maybe hopping over to tongue punch Rogue further away. Push her back down. Yeah. I think he's trying to kind of measure. Oh, I think he might be thinking about doing another anti spin. Does he have the power for that? Oh, yeah, he took four, so yeah, yeah. he would. I mean, that would help take her down, that's for sure. But he would lose that back point. Because while he can interact from range two, he can't content or secure from range two. Right. And, and if, he hops, no, if he hops there, he won't be able to hop back. Yeah, sadly, his ability is not useful in this combination of crises. There's no yeah. there's no extract to interact with from two away. Mm-hmm. I mean, Freedom Force is not a bad call, so you could drop your Mystique token on it, but... What? If he Freedom Forced. Oh, I see. I just put Toad's there, so I just assumed that one of the alternatives is Freedom Force. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he is tongue punching Rogue right from where he is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's been bad dice when it's round three and you get your first crit of the day. Johnny Costco, thank you, man, for the follow. Welcome to Costco. I love you. I love you. I like that name. We don't have Costco's where we live. We, we don't. Sam's Club instead. Yeah. Which seems inferior. It, it is, except that whenever one of your shopping carts gets dazed, you can move another shopping cart short, heal one, and remove a special condition. From Sam's Club? Yeah, it's well, What Sam's does Costco Club's. get? Uh, one less. Uh, they, they can reduce the, the superpower cost of one of their powers per turn by one. Oh, but Costco has superpowers. Yeah. That's what seems so much better. I mean... Legitimately. <laughs> have you heard about their benefits? They're actually a pretty reasonable employer. No. Because we don't have any Nero's. Yeah. Why don't I know? <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> All right. Toad had a great activation there. Yeah, he did. Day's magic moved Rogue. To what end? I'm not totally sure. Get her closer. Make sure she's in range for a double beam. Not a double beam, but... Well, if he goes with Dark Star first, maybe she can teleport. Yeah. Crimson Dynamo. Not that he has to attack, I just always assume people are trying to set up a better beam. Mm-hmm. It's just looks like Rose going to move up, make sure that she is contesting that researcher. And also trying to see if she's within range two of that. It may have been a charge, I'm not sure. And we are rolling a... Energy attack. <laughs> Looks like not a great attack. Um, John, just remember that's when you're targeted, not after the dice are rolled. Crimson Dynamo. No, it's fine. It's another one of those things. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> He's so new. Yeah. No, we're, we're literally all going through that learning curve with him. All right, she did a little bit of damage. They would say he lost the power, took the damage. <laughs> but we're all learning now. Yeah, yeah, because we didn't know that either. Chat corrected us and was like, "Oh, okay, we'll catch you next time." That's not a bad thing. Yeah. You need to play more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if the if the worst case scenario is playing more MCP, you're in a pretty good spot. Right. Because remember, if you got a fistful of dice and someone else can read your cards, you got a fighting chance. <laughs> you got a fistful of dice and chat telling you how things work. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we got another attack in here. Right, we got five dice. Nice. Almost had some crits or something. Yeah. Those are the only two that he's blocking to. Just sap right? hmm? Those are the only two he's blocking to with the two crits that he rolled. Oh, nice. So he's going to take two more. Triggering Winter Rush here. Yep. Toward Rogue. 
Yeah. It's got to be. Well, it could be Dark Star. Dark Star. Oh, never mind. He said he's not gonna. Just, just, just kidding. kidding. All right, the oh, skid steer is going into Crimson Dynamo. Rogue is throwing that thing into him. He is in trouble. I'll take two. All right, he's only gonna take one from the skid steer. Not too shabby. Crimson oh, Dynamo. Not too shabby at all. Carborundum ma matrix alloy. Carbonium. Anything that reduces damage is so good. Yeah. Yep. So good. Especially if it's just would suffer damage from an enemy effect versus from an attack. Or I don't even know if there are any that are like that, but I feel like there are some that are if it's an attack specifically. Yeah. But maybe not all. I can't think of any specific. I don't know if it's like Omega Red or. Yeah. I think it's usually. Oh, I think it, is it like um, Nice Punch or those ones that are only attack. No, so spend? like Nice Punch is anything because you can Nice Punch like bleed damage. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Maybe some characters are only attacks, or maybe we we're just making that up. Maybe we were joking. There is one that kind of works only against attacks, and that is um, built to take it because you have to use it when you're targeted by an right. attack. Yeah, that one's a little weird. It's just another one of those effects, right? That's kind of just a little bit difficult to get used to and get the hang of because you have to use it when you're targeted. It's just a little bit different. Yeah. But that little difference actually makes a lot of big deal. Yeah. All right. Wow. We're gonna have a what might happen here? A big potential round for this rogue. Well, John's rogue hasn't gone this round. It would go so fast. I thought you already went right. this round. That was round two. So I think he's going to try to charge, get within range of Doctor Who, do an attack, throw the cement mixer. Oh, Hell man. yeah! Gonna go for a Hell Mary. I like the sound of that. Full send. Go big or go home. Right. <laughs> Just move normal. the charge. He said a move normal. Oh, is he not charging? He's just actually moving. I think he's going to move, throw the cement mixer, and then charge after that. Uh, right, thanks, Alex. There's the brace. Oh, Alex. Hey, man. Didn't trigger the thing, but thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. Oh, it's on YouTube. Oh, still. I'll, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> charge, charge, charge. I miss what happened. Did he brace the semi mixer? Yeah. That makes sense. That's, a, that's only size two, but still. I'm pretty sure Sorcerer Supreme Strange does not have good physical defense. Yeah. So now she's getting up in there, she's charging. On up to the researcher. Oh, and uh, and Nick is in fact out of activations. So is he done? Yeah. Because Magic got days. Oh right. Yeah. He's yes. used Rogue. Wait no, he's, oh, he's got Strange. Strange. Yeah, I guess that's. <laughs> he only has his best piece left. All right, Rogue is trying to punch him, but he can use his mystic defense here because Ironbound books. No. Um, it's an energy attack, so we can't use Ironbound books, but he gets to reverse pierce with wilds on energy attacks and mystic attacks. So I have a question. Yeah. Which pierce. one goes first? Uh, your thing is after the attack is resolved, right? Sap is before. Four damage is dealt. The defender loses one power in the game. Of so right, we got a little timing discussion here. Sap compared to what? I see Jensen have a hard time against this Doctor Strange. Yeah. That was actually uh, more gaming data or someone if you can tell us how that works. So, uh, order of damage. So, Sap happens before damage is dealt. Um, if Strange wanted to do something with that power before it was gone, how does that, how does yeah, that work? Depending exactly? on the wording of what he's trying to use the power for, then. Yeah. Uh, but then he did immediate absorption, I believe. 
Yep. Oh, I know it's like we're already going right back. No, I think actually no damage went through, so we didn't have the power. That's why they were asking about the effect. So with the effect that gives him power for converting attacks, what happened beforehand, it would give Dr. Tree power to be able to be stamped. But because it was a power to be able to stamp, she wasn't able to use the mutant absorption. Oh, I see. Sap is before damage. Okay. I wasn't sure because her thing is just. Yeah. And this is after. Uh, yeah. It's wild in the defense role. Yeah, modifying opponent's dice is the last thing that happens. Okay. In that sequence. So, say what happened before Mystic Armor of Strength. Yep. So you make me rerun my die, and after that I decide There's a whole bunch of... This sounds confusing. Yeah. Oh, I think we're going... Are we going to the dynamo here? Yeah. I'm trying to KO him. Uh, All right. One damage. Some one damage on the rogue. Oh, I was on to on the injured rogue. Well, there's so many targets up there now. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It's a lot of dice modification here. Just, can't someone just play a Malika so we don't have to deal with this? <laughs> <laughs> No more. <laughs> but the disruption field can be used on other people, which is why it's when it's targeted. Uh, yeah, this character or another ally character. Uh, the enemies within three of, of Crimson Dynamo. Uh, right, still going. Looks like, oh wow, Rogue is gone. Rogue yeah. is KO'd. Wow. Okay. He said it was kind of a Hail Mary last turn. It didn't yeah. really pan out for him, and now she's... She Gonzo. Yeah. Yep. That's a big hill for John to climb up. Yeah, it's going to be. He is still up by one at the moment, but... Yeah, it's still only two to three. Uh, We've seen wilder in. things happen already this uh, today. Yeah. But Dynamo's getting displaced three. That's, a, again, that's a that's massive for him with a short move. He does have propulsion thrusters to, to move two, mm -hmm. range two, but that's not... He also not great. could be... He so, also could uh, win a rush there, but it is a mate. Oh, yeah. So that was attack on a rogue. He could win a rush. Yeah. Could have before. No, he would have before because Scalpel is just a, a superpower. So oh, that would happen yeah, after right. the whole yep, you're right. attack sequence. True blue. Uh, but he does still have Dark Star and Crimson Dynamo. Yep. Dark Star could, if she has the power, she could potentially teleport him right back to where he was. All right, so Rogue's got three left. I don't think there's a whole ton of damage on Strange yet. I just wish I could make this a game of Rogue. I don't think I've lost anything. John's lamenting his dice, which seems fair. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> Well, and this is far from over but two to three. We've got who's injured on Nick's side? On Nick's side, Magic's dazed. Is anybody injured yet? No, no injuries. Oh, Just Magic. That's rough for John. He's already got a couple injured and KO'd. Who's he, who's he goes for? All right, Dark Star's yeah, going. Okay. All right, five. He can re-roll them all if he wants. He's keeping the roll. Yeah. All right, one damage. One more damage to Rogue. She's got two left because Nick just said she had three before this. Mm -hmm. She does not. She's not teleporting. If she didn't have the power or she didn't want to do it, I don't know. Yeah. I was hoping to see Crimson Dynamo do a beam to hit both of them, but that's yeah. not going to happen this turn. It looks like he is moving. Looks like he will get the beam on Rogue. Probably. Doesn't Rogue have good energy defense, though? All right, so we're just getting some clarification on the beam here. This is one that's tripped us up before in the past for sure. So it's one of those things that that's tripped us up a whole bunch of times before too, right? Where yeah, it's the like, beam is like centered on your base, just pointing any direction you want so you can't have it like yeah 
where exactly do you put it? Never mind. It, the, they, said, they said it has to be centered. So it looks like it can like, only be one. So, uh, it, it, do, it generally doesn't make that much of a difference yeah. because you can still have the full 360 rotation. So, uh, mm -hmm. But it does keep, keep you from doing some little shenanigan things. Yeah. Like beaming around a corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did that hit all three or? She did one more to Rogue, it sounds like, yeah. and shocked her. Zap. <laughs> Looks like it was just on Rogue. Rogue yeah. is bumping with Convocation. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you didn't use the uh, propulsion thrusters to get up there and attack twice. But yeah, maybe he didn't want to spend the power. I mean, he's got to have plenty on him, though. Yeah, he's been a little surprised. So, yeah, I, I would assume so. Because it's about this. It, he has been using a lot of disruption fields. Oh, that's true. That's true. Because two is what a tiny bit less than a short move, or is it the other way around? Was it a, sh a range two is just a little bit less than a short move? Yeah, it's like just about the same. Like it's, I think it's so close. So I know if like you're butt to butt, it's and you're short away, you're still within range two. Okay, so yeah, it's a, yeah. What does that go to? What's the score? Five, five, five. Five, five. This is a low score. Yeah. I haven't seen a game this low in a while. Just by how even it is. And it's the wrong one first. <laughs> uh, Nick does have priority here since uh, John had two activations at the end. Yeah. Yep. And he still has four. It's still four v four characters, but mm -hmm. Nick has the advantage there. This could be a swingback turn, depending on how this goes. What we're gonna is a short move will get you out of range two. Yeah. Well, if there if there are two characters right next to each other and one is move short, yeah, the other one's not gonna be in range two of the other one anymore because they move, you know, the distance to the base as well. Well, only on the far end, it gets further away, you know? Just. Oh, we'll get you out of range. So I got you. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Who's going on? The rogue. You know, so we heard a sap. It must be. The power. Yeah, either rogue or. I mean, that means no disruption field. Maybe. Oh, we got Rogue versus Crimson Dynamo there. Yeah, she kind of wants to take him out. I could see that. Gets rid of the affiliation. Makes sure special conditions actually exist now. It hasn't really come up. Looks like she's going to charge. And she can get within two of the charge. Not be able to contest both, but be on the back point maybe is what she's going for there. Oh, she's throwing again. Yeah. What's her throw called? Uh, Southern Bell or Southern Hospitality's or Spender. Yes. So I'm going to punch her energy. I will spend two. Maybe he's not throwing. He said he's punching her with, the, punching her with energy. Yeah. Marvelous strength. Sure. Should remember that one. So I guess that's what I'll reroll. You miss Marvelous strength more like it. All right. Dispersion feels the forcing the reroll. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't sure. block yes. anything. All right, that's one takes. That one's got to be real close. All right, so that was a charge. There we go. Using the field when targeted. So he's just trying to prevent some, some power here so the train doesn't get thrown after he rolls successes. And I guess rid of the sap. Oh, he's got no power left. He's got nothing to sap. <laughs> okay. Crimson Dynamo is still standing, though. Yeah. That's, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, those uh, disruption fields actually work out pretty well there. So you think those saps. You go with him before he's gone, or. Because Doctor Strange, yeah, it's it's one of those things, right? Where had he had priority, that would have been two characters set up for a really sweet beam. Yeah, but what are the, I don't remember what are the cards John has. He only used the one, hasn't he? Yeah, he just used Winter Rush. No Iron Round books this round. I don't believe not until someone's dead. Oh, they, they're uh, remembering a roll for the vaults now. Yes. 
Oh, that's yeah. unfortunate. The Crimson Dynamo rolled the, the push. Okay. I was saying because they forgot it that even though he would be moved, he's not going to be in the power. Because that could have really changed things. Two more they power and for next turn. Too. Nick would have moved yeah. him. All right. So, John. All tied up into round four? Yeah. Wow. Round four already. That 5 5. Going. Scoring an average of two and a quarter points per round. <laughs> what? No. Oh. oh, total? Yeah. Between the two players? Yeah. Actually, I still think the math's wrong, but. Making him They're the scoring one and a quarter points each per round. One and a third. One and two quarter fourths. <laughs> two quarter cheeses. Two quarter fourths. Oh, it looks like Toad is going first. Oh, yeah, Toad's Trying getting to rid of the incineration. Magic. <laughs> KOing her would guarantee that point for, well, not guarantee it, but keep him pretty yeah. safe for a while. So a little bit of damage, three damage going through on that uh, acid. Oh, he's done. Like he didn't also. take her down. Oh, okay, right. It's, it's, it's a tall call. Yeah. He's, he's still sitting there with one damage left, I believe. Yes, it's one of those things, right? Do you even bother over there? Do you just soul sword and then teleport away and try to dark trial somebody else? Or right, you just hope that you don't flub a strike? Yeah. Wow, I saw one game's already done. Yeah. What do we see over there? There's a Malekith over there. I thought we were going quick, and they're done. It was Sam that we had round one oh, yeah. against one of the Canadians. Indians. I don't know his name. He's got an X-Men shirt, though, so he's cool. He had X-Men oh, hat, might too. Be, that might be the one we haven't met before, because I see Gabe and uh, Simon over there still, so maybe that's John. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. All right. Got another one going in there. More sapping, so it must be Dr. Voodoo. Yeah. Ugh. So he is rolling. It's a spear at him. Yeah. So it sounds like he's taking one, and then because of red suit training or whatever, uh, that'll give him two power backs. <laughs> red suit training? Yeah, red suit training. Isn't that what he did? He trained how to have a red suit. <laughs> I like that a lot. I'm pretty certain. Red suit training. Red suit training. Training. Do, do, do. So then he throws him away. Whee! With all that extra power. Threw him away with his own power, too. All you know? that power. No wall match to have all that power. He's Locks done. Training Dr. Voodoo is here for at least an hour. All right, so Dynamo's not dead yet. Not dead yet. Red, Red Guardian's not dead yet. <laughs> They're both in rough shape. Well, and that researcher actually looks like a, it's in a pretty good position for, for Jonathan. If he can daze Rogue or gone. Doctor Strange, pretty much his. Yeah. We got Crimson Dynamo is not zapping Rogue. She is contesting the, the intrusion portal, so. Oh, true. Yeah, I think Rogue's got one left. I believe she's dazed. Three on a gainer. Looks like it. That uh, next Rogue is now dazed. Looking for range. Maybe he'll use rockets. Sure. I will do that. I will beam. Oh, range of Oh, his beam is beam four, isn't it? Beam strange. So he's beaming strange. Zappity zap zap zap. Have him a shock here too. Three. Three and no wild. All right, Strange is going to just gain, or Strange is going to take two. Crimson Dynamo will only gain one power from it, as it is a gainer beam. Strange has got to be close, right? He took some damage before. Yeah. Do you use thrusters to get on that researcher then for two points instead of one? Potentially. Yeah, I think his base is big enough. He might be able to contest both. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. It'd be hard, but you can only use one arrangement tool at a time. So you can do it from one and just try to maximize it on the other. But we can see, it does look like he's going to fall today. Okay. 
Okay. He was pretty confident in getting that Strange down. More difficult for Strange to get onto that portal vault yeah. as well. Well, we still have our Guardian left to go to. A move up on a shield. The Siberian Shield Slam could do some pretty heavy work on yeah. that Voodoo. Darkstar hasn't gone yet either. Yeah. If she survives. Strange. Oh, he's just right, going to so teleport her away. Yeah. Go away. Go away. Goodbye. Oh, no, go this way. I mean, you go this way. I'll go home. <laughs> move. I say move her and then just move up on the point. Yeah. Try to finish off Dynamo. Okay. He's been scalping so much he can't have much other power. Yeah. Now he's been hit here and there, but he does. He does gain some extra per round too. Well, he doesn't gain right. three around disruption field. What's that? Doesn't he gain three around? Doesn't he gain two additional? Uh, the Sword Supreme? Yeah. Pretty sure I saw that earlier. Maybe, yeah. Well, you know, like they say, you should remember that it's more than one because uh, it comes with sour cream and tomato. Yeah, two yeah. additional power. Yeah. All right. Crimson Dynamo taking three. Dynamo not dead yet? Must not be. Oh. I didn't yeah. thought he had taken it. Oh. He's a big sturdy boy on yeah. his uh, flip side. Right? Does he have? I thought he had six, like six and six. He has six, six and six. six. Hmm? Not as much as I thought. Yeah. Must have been a bunch of chips so far. I think. He scalped them away again. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, so now he's getting, getting both, both of those, those points. Dark Star's still up, though. I don't know if she can do anything to both of them, but the answer to that is probably not. I don't know, she can teleport herself up. Shoot a couple uh, Dark Star Blasts or whatever it is the kid's calling out. A spender. Yeah. Move up. A big and then spender. reduce their energy defense by one, and then yeah. shoot. I don't know how much power she's got. So, Magisol hasn't gone. Yeah, she can take out Tobin's EPs. It actually doesn't look like much on her. Actually, no. Oh, I forgot about Red Guardian still. I think it all got saps, maybe. No, she was not showing any power that I can see. A lot of saps. Oh, she's also, yeah, gotcha. Move and shield slam, I'm thinking. Yeah. Sorry, Siberian shield slam. My bad. There we go. Oh, Ben's not here. <laughs> Hashtag Team Slav Shield Slam. <laughs> All right, so does he need a while for this throw, or is no, that auto? I think it's auto. I'm pretty sure it's auto. <laughs> yes, auto throw. Short. Wee. He's saying, you know what? You threw me away, I'll throw you away. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, oh, convocation leadership strikes again. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It is solid. Get right back on that point. That yeah. is rough. It's an aggressive bump. It's too bad if John had gone with what he first thought, pushing him north, he probably wouldn't be able to bump back on the point. Yeah. And I think we're about to see a dead toad here. <laughs> All right. One damage goes through, toad is dead. Yeah, he wouldn't have much left. That's a cooked toad. The same thing that happens to everything else. What is that? No breathing. All right, so, yeah, the immediate move up. He doesn't need portals for anything. It's only dark time left. I mean, why? Interesting, he's abandoning that point. Yeah, like, why not? Oh, she can, she, she can teleport herself, right? Yep. So just really confirming that? Uh, didn't Rogue already have that vault? Seems like it. Nord might just be outside of it. Hmm. But could just be a... Uh, Security? Yeah. Dynamo's still there. Yeah. He's, he's got to have like one health left. Dynamo? Yeah, probably. I think I've seen four of them. 
I think Darkstar Dark is still healthy at this point. She doesn't look like she's got much on her card. Is she even hurt yet? She is not. Wow. I don't believe. Also, no power. She must have spent up for something earlier. Nick does not see her as a threat. No, he does not. <laughs> nope. Oh, Dark Star's going to move another way. So that way you only get two this turn. Oh, Dark Star's going to move up to deny the researcher. Yeah. I think it's a great move. Yeah, so I don't think Jonathan is scoring anything this round. Because Red Guardian is injured. Oh, yeah, so he's got that point with Voodoo because he couldn't quite daze him, sadly. So that's three, two for Nick. It's <laughs> still only two points. Nick, how many did you get? Two. <laughs> this is wild to me. Yeah. It seems like Nick is pretty well in control because he's doing a lot of damage, but John is still only down by two in yeah. round five. Yeah, missing missing rogue stinks. And yet yeah, and John can't get priority. Alright, we gotta we so we're doing remembering uh, portals this time. Oh, pushing Dr. Voodoo. Yeah. Yeah, Nick's got priority. We got a card down. Oh, he used uh, Dark Star's thing, it looks like. Yeah. I forget. Oh, wow, they're all triggering this time. Oh, 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 oh. So Rogue is going to say goodbye as well. I'm get, glad they remembered before. Get a couple power. Now magic. All oh, right, it powers them up too. Yeah. Is it Dynamo? Is not moving. He met with Red Guardian. Oh, Red Guardian. Okay, he's away. Crimson Guardian? Crimson <laughs> Guardian and Red Dynamo? <laughs> I mean, it, it does kind of kind of mean the same thing, <laughs> to be fair. Literally. All right, Nick is maintaining priority here. What do you go with first here? Dynamo's got two left. Who's got two left? Dynamo. Wow. Alright guys, this is round three here in Nick Menard versus Jonathan Green. Some winter guard against Convocation. Convocation. At Midgard Game in Derry, New Hampshire's LVO Qualifier Tournament. 24 people here, sold out event. Every table's full. Looks like Magic's going first, teleporting herself up, looking for, uh, I'm yeah. assuming, a sword strike. Are you going to journey through Limbo? Nope, Dark Child. All right, Skull's kind of successes here. They can't be reasonable, so you kind of hope for just a fistful of Skulls. Let's see what happens. See Dynamo getting out of this one. He's got four defense dice, but only rolled one success. Whoa! Will you settle down over there, punching the mic thing? Yeah. <laughs> You're bleeding and incinerated. Still not dead. He just takes the one. <laughs> She's got one left. This yeah. dynamo is the toughest model I've seen in a while. He's just not going down. Yep. He's a rough customer. Jeff Rustin. All right. Yeah, he's just spending all his power to constantly put that shield up to try to survive. Yeah. We got a sword strike, whatever it's called. It's incredibly right. disruptive field. Soul sword. No, she's outside range two. This is probably her gainer. Oh, because that's also zero power, right? Yeah. He survived those four mystic defense that are really helping. Yeah, I mean, that's an energy attack. But. Um, 
That's right. So oh, is he uh, is he big there or is he only big on physical? He's four three four. Oh, okay. I mean, I assume because uh, I think Dark Child's range three as well or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the Soul Sword is awesome because it's a builder with Pierce, but eh, it's only range two. So yeah, so it's a harsh turn there. Diggity bolt. Oh, thank you, Danny. Get a little bit of stretch. Oh, wow. That's a lot of perks. Most taken model today. So what's the most common model out there? Uh, I think Rogue is way up there. Yeah, I've seen a lot of rogues. A lot of toads. A fair bit, I mean, like five Malchus, but that's a lot. There's a good, lot, a good smattering of characters. Yeah. Actually, just from looking around on the table, I see a lot of magics. Magic on the table next to us, across the hall. Yeah, because there's a fair amount of X-Men. A number of Juggernauts, of course, because people love Juggernaut. Yeah. Um, Storm 2 is pretty popular. Because people love X Men. Yeah, X Men are really good. Weirdly, I don't think I've seen any X 23s. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember I see seeing a Wolverine that. right there and what? another rogue over there. Oh, yeah, there's a Wolverine. A couple right there. Venoms. I see a handful of Hulks. A person that might be rusty, we're not sure. It is Rusty, yeah. Rusty boy. Yeah, Dylan, uh, he's a local for Dylan Dyer who confirmed. Oh, Rusty's, okay. Uh, I was going to ask if you got confirmation on that. Um, so we need to say hi in person yeah. next time we can. I think Rogue might be the most common model here today. I, from where I'm sitting, I think I can see four. Yeah. At least. We have seen a little bit of a drop off in Juggernaut, or maybe at least Juggernaut play, but a lot of people have them. Yeah. Good question, though. It's just nice to see a lot of different things. Um, not a lot of web warriors today. Some. Hmm. Well, we did have Wakanda earlier already. Yeah. A couple people have Asgard, which is nice to see. Um, and I, I think I see that uh, Robert, who we saw against Gabe last round, played against one of the other Montreal group, uh, Simon Jerry. Mm. So I'm curious. Let's take a look at the long shanks. Well, Simon's still playing his game against somebody that's not oh, he's still, I, Gotcha. I thought they were like <laughs> looking at their models and just conversing. No, I think that game's done, man. Oh, maybe you're right. There's, there's, there's no models, models conversing. Never mind. Yeah. Who did Rob play against long shanks? Hey, what's Simon? Round three. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So round three, Rob played Simon against that Smaglis. 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 Simon Smaglis. played against Steve. Okay. Pretty handy win there, too. 18 to 3 for Simon Jerry. Oh, Rob didn't get his game. 18-15. Yeah. It's a close one, at least. Yeah. All right, back to the matter at hand. Oh, yeah. What's happening? <laughs> We're just going to stop paying attention to the game for a minute. Sorry. <laughs> get distracted. Things don't look very different, though. Where's oh. Magic? Is Magic gone? Yep. Magic been deleted? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's over there off the table, yeah. I'm assuming Crimson Dynamo did that. She got beamered. Yeah, and then Crimson Dynamo uh, moonwalked and propulsion thrust her away. Zippity zappity, she got her off her property. Zippity zappity, she got the clappity. Right now Locking three. three. That sounds like John's best defense roll of the day. Yeah. Of the game, at least. <laughs> I'll still that. Oh. <laughs> it was a valid effort, though. <laughs> best defense roll of the game. Still dead. <laughs> All right. There goes Crimson Dynamo. And That's with him, his affiliation leadership ability. I'm, I'm trying to give people a show. <laughs> we appreciate the show. All right, Strange going with the Builder into Darkstar. Darkstar is in trouble. She does have forward Mystic Defense as a Winter Guard. All right, he's blocking three. Another good defense four. roll. I didn't get any wild. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm not going to reroll my last one. So I get one power. I get one damage to you. And then I will. It sounds like she took one there. Mm -hmm. I think it's the first damage Darkstar's taken this game. And then here's the scalpel. Oh, I mean, scalpel again. Really the thing that just makes Strange. Uh, <laughs> that power is so good. Real good. He only needs to do one damage on a builder to get to be able to do it, too. Because so, he gets three a turn. With the three power he gets around. 
Yes. It's one of those like, yeah, it costs four. Sounds a lot, but now when he gains three, you turn. Yeah, they do turn. It seems tough at first, but they'll turn. <laughs> Tim's talking about the buttons, in case <laughs> it was totally out of context. <laughs> they do turn. What does? The wheel of what is it? Morality. Morality. Turn, turn, turn. turn, turn. turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. The moral for today's well, story is: a wise man. No, how does it go? Uh, early to bed. No, early to rise. Early to bed makes a man healthy, but also dead. Thanks, Animaniacs. Oh, there's Zany to the max. I've heard. I got one. I can't remember the next line. Sorry. All right. Another shield throw. Oh, just playing a ring. Yeah. I got a crit. We have four. Four yeah, successes on the playing a ring there. there. The suspense uh, is killing me. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he survived. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and he gets, and Doctor Voodoo gets a power out of that for uh, rolling a skull. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. John sounded so confident with that roll, and he was just like, "Boop, I'm fine." To to have a good roll like that just taken away too is just <laughs> soul crushing. There's like weird luck roll for people on the left side of the table today because mm -hmm. Gabe last round was rolling rocks. Yeah. Yep. Just rocks. Rocks on rocks to put me to shame. You can't even bring the dice to blame. Right. Oh, thanks, Jackie the Draco Wolf. Oh, Seven thanks, minutes Jackie. late, but thanks for the follow. <laughs> we were just we were warming up to it. We were so thankful for that that follow here on Twitch that uh, just took us a while to get to us. We're also in New Hampshire where there's no laws and only freedom, so it really just it took its own way getting here. <laughs> No laws. Right, I need to buy a whole bunch of stuff here because there's no sales tax in this state. Yeah. So uh, I want to not have to spend that extra 8%. Well, and anyone here to play MCP today is also going to get 15% off of their MCP purchases. So no sales tax and no 15% and off. Pretty solid. That's, that's like almost 25% off compared to buying in New York. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're Easy buying from Bearded Dragon Games down online, where with, even without a code, you always save 15% off of all your Marvel Crisis Protocol pre orders. Make sure to add notifications to the site so you can find out when those Sentinels go up for pre order. Yeah. Well, you should let Anthony know that they're up. You might not know yet. It's so, true. Hey, get those on the site, bro. I think Anthony knows because he's certainly been here along with us at Midgard Games in Derry, New Hampshire, watching the LBO qualifier live. Here on the Professional Casual Network's Twitch. <laughs> oh, MVP Toad is going. Looks All like right. he's running towards the, the back objective. <laughs> he's got a double move and a hop to get to that back vault. You can't stop the hop. <laughs> he's too strong. He's too powerful. <laughs> he's too powerful. <laughs> All right, Toad's done. <laughs> Toad is just going to he's just booking yeah. it Definitely just imagine him sprinting <laughs> right <laughs> like yeah he used hop but he's just running mm -hmm. I just think that's funny mm -hmm. each each step he takes while he's running is like a hop you know super right. strength in his legs alone so <laughs> that made spit go down my throat <laughs> but in the in the in the breathe hole yep mm -hmm. All right, so I think we just have Rogamus Rex left, which might explain why Toad was like, nah, bye. Rogamus Rex. The Dark Star do? Yeah, she's definitely in a different spot. Yeah, Rogue's going to go get that point there. Makes sense. Which I believe is Researcher within range two or within range one? One to secure it. One. Oh, to uh, get in the other spot is within one, one as well, I believe. Okay. You can't score them, like, you, you can't move it and score that same turn either. So, yeah, I was curious if it might already be there from last round. I don't think so. Uh, it's pretty difficult. Within one yeah, of the back one. Okay. Yeah. But still. Oh, yeah, Dark Star hadn't gone yet. She just moved. Oh, because yeah. she got scalpeled back there. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Very precision I'm gonna instrument. Shoot strange and I'm just gonna kill. 
That's how this yeah. is working. Uh, right here. Fire I like, I like that. the I like confidence the there. John said, I'm just going to shoot Strange and I'm going to kill him. He's, you know, blatantly ignoring the rules because he'll be dazed yeah. here, but Three, he's dead in John's mind. Yeah, with the whatever it is. Her power reducing his energy defense by one. You can't re-roll the failure, though. Then how can I re-roll all my dice? You can re-roll all, but the failure stays a failure, and you can never re-roll it. Unless you have a roll. Yeah. Three's pretty, three out of five yeah. pretty good. <laughs> so he's, he's shooting for two of his dice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Shit. Do we expect anything different? Right. <laughs> well, John's proclamation didn't quite come true. Yeah. Instead of killing Drange, you did zero damage. You know, the, yeah. That reverse pierce is crazy good. Yeah, it is. Like, wow. Yeah, it is. Hey, we can see Nick's nose. <laughs> I like how he's totally sideways. Yeah. Oh, to read the crisis. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's going to have Nick scoring three, four. And John scoring got one. one with Toad. Four to one. I mean, Toad is MVP. So 11 to six, I believe. 11 to six? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I think John finally gets priority here, though, doesn't he? Because Dr. Strange went late. Oh, no, that was Stark's yeah, activation. Dark Never mind. Man, <laughs> like, how huge is that every single round? Like, just... Rogue, no moves. Double spell so far on those. All right, Red Guardian is going to roll. No move there. No move on Toad. Mm. Really Toad the line there. Aha. I don't get it. Oh, me neither, man. <laughs> Just throw words out and hope they make sense in some way. Shape or form. All right, looks like we're starting out with Voodoo into Red Guardian with a staff of leg bust. Well, seven Probably. With some power burn. I think this is going to be removing Red Guardian this activation. Zero defenses again. Wow. So, one, two, three, and I get one extra power. One, two, three. Damage goes through. All right. Three He's got one three left. Defender, though, with no successful blocks is kind of a best case scenario. Yeah. Voodoo to gain an extra power from that for rolling a failure. Yeah. I technically would get another power, but I'm already Oh, Red Guardian's maxed. Is it going to matter? He doesn't have vibranium shield on the back. Surprised you we didn't get any uh, steroids for blocks, but I might have forgotten about it. You know what? Their focus repulsion field. Oh, they're against mystic attacks. Never mind. Oh, that's right. He does yeah. have it on the back. He just can't use it here. Oh, yep. that's brutal. That is. That, yep. And that removes Red Guardian. So all we have left is Toad and Dark Star. John wants to get some points for tournamentness. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind double for double attack, but oh, I, did, I just realized Dark Star has a brother Daniel on her. Yeah. Uh, I gave my one power. Dazed Voodoo with that. Voodoo is dazed. That does not bring back the Brother Daniel token, but it prevents him from bringing it back. Because he can't. It gets lost when you daze. Because it's a buff on you. So it would go back to him if. Yeah. Or if he recalls it. Which he can't recall it because he's dazed. Yeah. <laughs> Even Nick thinks Brother Daniel is yeah. kind of silly. So it's kind of going along game here. Have Dark Star down there. Yeah. Because I don't think with with Voodoo Days, it's going to be tough for Nick. To, he's not going to be able to score five points. Oh, never mind. He's got the researcher over there. He's definitely yeah, he's scoring five. four over there. Against Toad. He Listen, to I don't know how Toad's going to murder the entire convocation, but it's going to happen. Toad, too? Yeah. <laughs> Three stamina? Yeah. That's he's a hop. That's all you need. Where there's a hop, there's a way. <laughs> it's full of dice and a hop in your pocket. Yeah. 
you got a fighting chance. And Rogue is like, get over here, Toho. Rogue, watch Rogue take that two power just to be mean. <laughs> <laughs> go up there and get an absorption. She just boops his snoot and takes his two power. <laughs> uh, Nick says, never mind. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Well, she, I, she's, she's scared of the toad. Yeah. That tongue punch hits hard, there. man. So Toad, I think John just said Toad is activating, yeah. but not doing anything. Yep, he's activated. And then string, yeah, so they have that back vault and the researcher and the evac point that is five points. That will bring him right to 16. Uh, unfortunately, John didn't score any points in the last two he rounds. Oh, did he get one, one here from Toad? Never mind, he scored one point in both rounds. Um, yeah, that was just a rough one for John. He, he kind of got overwhelmed by Nick's attacks. And, yeah. Yep. And just couldn't keep up. And the with scalpels. The, the scalpels the are scalpel really strong. was massive. Wizards are in a good spot. I mean, displacing Crimson Dynamo is really good, especially when he had to use the mm -hmm. dispersion field like every attack to yeah. try to stay alive. Well, and it's, it's not a push, so you know what I mean? Even if they're contesting something, it doesn't really do anything against that. And yeah. It's unfortunate that it gets around their leadership that way. Well, it's one of those things, like, I, I feel like we even really kind of undervalued uh, Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme initially because that scalpel was really expensive, but listen, when he's gaining three power around... And, like, he doesn't have a, a straight gainer, but Baleful Bolts of Balthag yes. are a good chance to do a damage. Absolutely. Listen, someone left it here. It's not ours either, but... <laughs> Well, it's a nice pen, so we wouldn't mind it, bank. Yeah, it is a nice pen. It's a G2. They're kind of, you know, they're the Malekith of Your the pen world, favorite. personally. Yeah, I love them. I People think love them or hate them? <laughs> People love them or they're like, that's too much. They need to get rid of that. People love to hate them? Hate to love them? Hate to love them. But yeah, I feel like Strange getting three a turn and then the Baleful Bolts range three is nice mm -hmm. it's strength five with a pierce the ch with a mystic attack yeah chances of doing that one damage to get the power to do scalpel is really good well even that if you just if you are not attacking him with physical attacks he's able to get that power off a of rolling wild on defense as well mm -hmm. you know he is he is there's a lot there going on. Yeah, he's real yep. good. I and mean, he's a five threat. He should be really good. Yeah. Yep. That was nice. It was nice to see a bunch of different characters, a couple rogues. Yeah. I love to see Winter Guard on the table. I think John would have won if he had Ursa Major. <laughs> <laughs> It's a goal, you know, that's that's a learning experience for next time. And listen, you're learning stuff in this game, too. So once again, as always, thank you to chat, uh, Magic Nick and, and Wargaming Dad and just kind of helping us resolve how some of these abilities actually work. It's always fun. Mm -hmm. Always good, too. Always good and fun and good. Always the old fun good. The fug, I think, is how they pronounce it. Thank you so Absolutely much. Absolutely how you say it, for sure. So... <laughs> You want to see some of the results from this round? It looks like most games are done. Yeah, it if does. not all. Thanks guys for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Just being a good sport, honestly, is a is a big part of it, man. Thank you. <laughs> all right so for round three kind of around the tables here we did see smaglas uh take it 18 to 15 with what is he playing oh shield winning over robert reels of the condoms simon jerry took it over steve avengers with x-men gold i think you know when we mentioned simon that he was playing x-men gold uh, Jim and Sean, we had a Web Warriors Whoa, matchup. Two Web Warriors. Yeah, 19 and 11. So I did hear Brian the TO talking earlier about how this Web Warriors matchup was to fight for Matt and Alex's love. <laughs> kind of like the premier uh, Web Warriors champion. Uh, Joe and Rusty, 16 to 11. X Men up against Asgard. Really like to see Asgard up. Yeah, yeah let's get Rusty in here. Uh, convocation matchup with oh, John Nicholas and Samuel, 20 to 3. Okay, wow, so that was the one that was over super early. So, what. Uh, 20 to 3 is what happened there. Let's see what they played, if that's going to be here or not on this. Uh, doesn't look like it's showing. It doesn't include like crises and whatnot. Sometimes it does. It's in the reporting tool. It's just a matter of victory points. Thanks. <laughs> uh, and then we had 
Phil versus Justin with some spider foes up against Primal Criminal Syndicate. Nice. Ooh, that's a good matchup. I love spider foes and Criminal Syndicate. Uh, Matt Finney playing another Common player. Cool to see some Common groups here. And another Web Warriors with Long Hiver, 16 to 9, in favor of the Wakandans by Matt Finney. And then uh, Phil the Thrill, who we saw round one here on stream, uh, got the buy. Oh, good for him. He won the buy. Yeah. He defeated the buy. Dude, uh, so here's the thing the, the strength of schedule as, as a tiebreaker can be a little bit misleading because dude every time Bai shows up to a tournament and he's he's there in pretty much most tournaments that I've seen like a shocking amount yeah yeah, you see him, and it's, it's super weird, too. He only shows up when, like, when there aren't just quite enough people, it seems like, either. Oh, that's like, good of him. Like, only when there's really odd pairings, just to make sure that that, that other odd um, pairing has uh, has something to go up against. Okay. Uh, we do have a couple lists here on Long Cheeks as well, and it seems like it's kind of growing as the, as the day has gone on. So let's take a look, actually, at what Simon is going to be running this week. So, as we know, he is running uh, his X-Men Gold list. He has uh, Storm, Beast, Domino, X-23, Colossus, Rogue, Ghost Spider, Ancient One, and Voodoo. And Malekith. Who? So this is certainly an update from uh, what we saw at ACO that he was running. As far as tactics cards, he has Brace for Impact, Escort to Safety, Fallback, First Class, Midnight, Phantasmagoria, Sacrifice, Smash to Me, my X-Men, Warpath, and Exceptional Healing. Is there no First Class? Oh, there's First Class. I'm I was going to say, I already read it, yeah. For some reason, I thought it was called X-Men First Class. I was looking for that on the list, and I was like, how does he not have that? Oh, that's right there. Uh, let's see. What are the other What's ones? What's the shield list look like from Kismiglis? Is it on there? Yes, it is. All right, Kismiglis. Case Maglis. Case Maglis. And running Shield is running uh, Nick Fury, Black Widow, Two Point, Winter Soldier, Hood, Hawkeye, Iron Man, Venom, Juggernaut, nice. She Hulk, and Red Guardian. Love that. I want to see that roster. Let's, yeah. let's talk to Brian about getting Shield up here. Uh, for Tactics cards, we have Eye in the Sky, Sacrifice, and Brace for Impact as restricted cards. The Shield Mobile, Sit Rep, Battlefield Medicine, Helios Laser Bombardment, Comrades Keeper, Lethal Protector, and do you know who I am? Do you? He's a kid. For security, as demons, infinity, and scoundrels. I love scoundrels. It's one of my favorite uh, securities. Uh, for extracts, we have hammers, cubes, and Montezzi. Classics. The old, uh, the old classical mask ball. So, guys. Hey, Rusty. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> we just switched back to the thing, so I, that was a couple minutes ago. So hey, like, Otis. Well, Otis. Hey, dude. How are you going? Or doing? How are you going? How are you going? <laughs> How are you going? But, uh, yeah, so that's going to wrap it up here for round three. I think the next two rounds are going to be one after another. So we're going to have some really cool stuff coming up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rusty. <laughs> Secretly wish you get a painted shield. Ah. Uh, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have two more rounds. Uh, rumor was, you know, kind of depending on how pair downs and stuff go, you know, there's always kind of that, that thing with, with tournaments where you never quite know exactly how many rounds are going to be. But at least one more game coming up, probably two, uh, as we uh, continue to stream the LVO qualifier for Midgard games. Now, a handful of people here have already qualified for LVO. Some are going, some aren't. So we'll kind of see how that plays out as well, as that could certainly affect things uh, in addition. Uh, we will be streaming LVO in January. You can check that out at um, FrontlineGaming.net. That'll have all the information on some of the upcoming tournaments and the like. We are also going to be heading to a convention in Boston. Uh, the week, I believe, weekend of December 13th uh, to stream another LVO qualifier. It was called the Everwinter event? Everwinter, yeah. I know there was like there was like just recently a vote or something on like what the name would be, so it does look like that will be... Um, and it's like the week before PAX Unplugged, I think, too. Oh, yeah. It's like it's a big couple of weeks for Boston Gaming. I'm pretty sure it's frontlinegaming.org. It's what? Frontlinegaming.org. Frontline oh, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, Chewy, yes. Let me go ahead and post. We'll get that Long Shanks link in the chat again. Post that Long Shanks right there. When you haven't been streaming this for the last six hours straight, Chewy, what the heck? Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> but 
Yeah, so a bunch of really cool stuff going on. We're going to have Dylan Dyer on in a couple of weeks uh, on stream for Oh Yeah, the Power Phase. We stream some live Marvel Crisis Protocol every Monday. This upcoming week, I think, is going to be at least one Cole and probably yours truly. Uh, maybe playing some 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 new stuff. I might get a chance to try out some Malekith or play against some Malekith. Oh. Uh, or maybe we'll play one of the winning lists from uh, from this particular LBO qualifier here. Last we were talking, Danny was thinking about doing a Phase 4 MCU-inspired squad. Okay. With Miss Marvel, She-Hulk, Falcon, Winter Soldier, well, you know, Captain America, but Winter Soldier. Yeah. Um, Moon Knight could be in there. Loki could be in there. Scarlet Witch? When you already say Scarlet Witch. Oh, yeah, Scarlet Witch. I mean, you could make a whole roster from Scarlet Witch and Vision. Releases. Yeah, I think you'd have, I think you'd have to cut it down. Honestly, there's a lot there, right? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Um, well, cool. No, he's, um, he's a little too much. But uh, maybe some Winter Guard, too. I haven't got a chance to play them yet. Mine aren't assembled or painted. They're still in the box. You can use mine. Aw, shucks. If you want. What a nice guy. He's a big bear. You should use him. He's I, great. I do, like, I do like big bears. But, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, as always, every Wednesday right here on the Twitch, Taylor will be streaming some Hobby Hangout. I think. Uh, what did he work on this past week? This past week, Twitch was down. Oh, that's right. <laughs> but he streamed in the Discord, didn't he? He they did like a hangout together in the Discord, yeah, oh, because cool. it wasn't working. Uh, I don't know if he did like hobby stuff at the same time because there's no like vod for it now. Yeah. So I couldn't check it out. But but the week before he was working on his disassembly of the Quinjet. Oh, turning that's the Quinjet right. into a number of smaller pieces of terrain to put around the table. Yeah, he's which in, I like this idea a lot. He's in the process of writing a blog about that too. So if you're curious about how to turn your own Quinjet <laughs> into uh, some disassembled terrain. Uh, make sure to head over to professionalcasual.com where you can check out all of our blogs. Dan has written a few. I've written one. We've even had some special guest writers as well, including Dylan Dyer. Ugh, Dylan Dyer. Uh, Dyer. Uh, the Fury's Finest painting contest and the like, as well as uh, as our own Ben, Mr. Rev Wright Matt himself. Hey ben, wrote one about the, the uh, Winter Guard. Winter Guard. Team Slav. I don't know why I keep wanting to say the Red Guard. Um, uh, I mean, the half of them are red. Yeah. And there's <laughs> one called the Red Guard DM, which yeah. is close. So close. Um, that's that's what's... Um, Crimson so Dino Guard. The <laughs> <laughs> I dug it. <laughs> but, all right, guys, we are going to be back very shortly. I think these last few pairings are coming in. Let's see if there's been any updates in the meantime for round three. It does look like a couple, but one was the game we just streamed. Uh, actually, yeah, so it looks like uh, Gabe from the Montreal group uh, took his win as well up against Evan. Must play faster riff. Interestingly, they ended 13 to 8, so maybe. I don't know if that means Evan didn't play faster or. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kevin Gravel ended up taking it against the Guardians of the Galaxy with Ronan around. <laughs> I like that name. That's good. Uh, 10 to 9. And Sean Sawyer is the other one. That's it, yeah. Sean. Playing Brotherhood against some Black Order, going 14 to 8 against McGuire. There's only one Black Order, isn't there? That's actually. Well, there's another one. Evan was also one. Black yeah. Order. What's T8? TH is a uh, Thor leader. So it's Asgard is the affiliation. The leader is Thor. Oh, so T so Black Order Thanos. I yeah, got, so I got like, it. So for X Men, it would show CY and Cyclops okay. is leading it. It never does. So no one's ever seen it. But it could. <laughs> That's why he's one in the day. power bottom ten currently. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Um, but yeah, over the next couple of weeks, guys, we're going to have some really fantastic new streams. So make sure to follow if you haven't. Um, you know, give a like, see any little bit of support, uh, you know, helps out quite a bit. Throw the Amazon Prime sub our way, helps us travel to events like this. This was about a five hour drive total, I think. We stopped at a place about four hours out yesterday. Uh, got to hang out with the, with the TO, Brian Watson, and uh, drove another hour into the store today. So, yeah. Always a little bit of time. Certainly uh, one of my favorite parts so far. This might be a shock to a lot of you. Uh, Mr. Brian Watson did a little thing called uh, Drove Me Here. Yeah, he to the, totally did. To the store today. So still no one on the network willing to, to throw out that olive branch, but we'll get there, man. We'll get there. Someday. All, maybe. maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's all that it took was was seeing how someone could, in fact, drive me somewhere. And, and now that's it's just a snowball. 
you know? <laughs> so the winter rush will uh, will happen. Uh, oh, because it's snowballing. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> But all right, guys, we'll be back actually probably pretty shortly, probably in the next five to ten minutes with round four yeah. of the Midgard LVO Qualifier Tournament. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You. We'll be right back. See you in a minute. Sorry.